right here on Power Flavor Magazine at the Akago Festival. And with me here is Edward from Serede. He's going to be telling you more about his attire himself, Serede itself as well. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling very well. I'm, I'm, very, I'm feeling well with the MTN, Pepsi and Prisna Lager for uh, bringing us to this cultural festival. Okay. Yeah. How did you get to know about the festival? Okay, it was MTN, it was announced over the radio, the top radio, and Serere Radio, and the Voice of Teso. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm really very much very pleased and with my team uh, for them to bring back our culture. Yeah. That's beautiful. Tell us more about your attire. I can see the number of beads. You have a whistle here, the okay. African wear. Yeah, so as, as we are dancing, there is a part where I can put on a whistle to make people change the way of what? Dancing. Yeah, dancing. And this other, in fact, it is very expensive. This one plus this one behind. You can turn and we see a bit. Uh, we take one. a look. Beautiful, beautiful. This one, all this other is about to 80,000. Yeah, totaling to 80,000. Yeah. How do you manage to get this attire together and what does it signify? Okay. Does, uh, does everything stand for something in your culture? Okay. In fact, you have, uh, I've not come with a stick, but uh, I'm supposed to have a stick. Mm. Uh, like me, I sing on top of somebody, up. Yeah. I sing up. So the stick means uh, with the us eaters, so at least uh, you have uh, as a man to defend your home. You have to have what? A stick. Mm. Yeah. And this attire shows our culture. on with the Akago festival a lot is happening preparations are going on everyone is trying to make sure they have it to their best before they go out there to represent their different districts the different cultures and much more and with me here is Samuel from Kumi he has been coordinating four districts he's going to tell us more about the districts why he's into this what inspired him and much more for you on the show welcome thank you so once more my name is Moko Samuel from Kumi district I'm coordinating this program, Akogo Festival for Teso, for four districts. Kumi, Kumi Municipality, Ngora, Palisa, and Bukedea. Okay. Hey. So what inspired you to do this? So the main objective of setting this was to promote the culture of Iteso, which was just lowering. So we want to promote it up so that we can inject the culture to our younger generation so that Iteso will be uplifted up to for future generations. That's very beautiful. And uh, where do you see Akago going from here? Because you're part of the officials here, you're part of the main people as well, bringing four districts. Okay. So after this regional competition, we expect the best performers to go to nationals. Mm -hmm. I think that's Kampala. So that our brothers and sisters from Kampala, even outside the country, can see how we are rebuilding the culture of Iteso. <laughs> With me here right now, I have Emmanuel. He's going to tell, tell us more about the Akago Festival, where it started from. You need to know more of these things, learn the event and what it really talks about. Welcome to the show. 
Thank you so much, and thank you so much, uh, UBC viewers. Um, I'm Emmanuel Edulu, uh, coordinator of Akogo Festival 2018. Uh, this Akogo Festival initiative, uh, we launched it last year, and uh, the whole idea is we looked at uh, uh, our history as Iteso community. Uh, 20 years back, we notice that our culture has been going down and uh, that generation that used to understand and know what our culture represents is facing out so we notice that the, this younger generation people who are born that is after 1980 now have lost on the identity and yet we the eaters are spread all over the globe the most Teso migrated from Tesolan and uh, went settled in some other regions like in uh, Kampala, in Buganda, in Acholi region, the Iteso in Western Uganda, and even uh, others who fled out of the country. Now, this is a symbol of unity. We as Iteso have never had uh, an event that brings us together. I would like, first of all, to thank you, the media, for the good and the wide coverage you have given this event. Right from the day it began, throughout all the districts of Teso. And today, as we are crowning it,